Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day. And today I'm gonna play some Doom, because I haven't played Doom in a long time, and it just surprised came out on the Switch today. And I finally had a chance to actually play, so that's definitely what I'm doing. It's Friday, man. Gotta take it easy. Have a little stupid fun. And that's exactly what Doom is. Stupid fun. Man. I have such fond memories of this game. Uh, lots of people do. You know, I say that like, you know, it's some hidden gem or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember where, like, any of the secrets are. I remember one. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I have a history with Doom, uh, as many gamers do, because back in the day, I didn't have a computer, and, uh, I had no way of playing Doom. I knew that it existed, and I was like, oh, man... That game looks so cool. I read it about it, and I read about it in some magazine. I don't remember what magazine, um, but I was like blown away by it, and I would just like sit and stare at the screens and be like, "This has got to be the coolest game ever." Uh, obviously, I had no idea it was going to wind up on the Super Nintendo years later, but uh, I was like, "I I gotta play it. I don't know how I'm gonna play it, but I gotta play it." That's the one secret that I remember. <laughs> uh, and my uncle at the time, can I, yeah, my uncle at the time was a huge PC gamer. Uh, he was one of the few, like, family members I could talk to that knew about games. And I went over to his house one day, and uh, the family was, like, there visiting. But, you know, I was, I don't remember how old I was, obviously not that old. Um, and the adults would, like, hang out and, you know, talk about boring adult stuff. And as kids, we were like, uh, what are we gonna do? Um, usually it was, like, sit there and be bored to death listening to adults or, like, take a nap. <laughs> but, uh, this time when I went over, my, my uncle was like, hey, uh, you like computer games, right? And I was like, I do, but I don't really get to play them. And he's like, well, I got one for you. And he wouldn't tell me what it was. And I was, like, completely oblivious. And, uh, he brought me to his computer, and I and he started up Doom, and I was like, No. And he's like, Are your parents okay with you playing this? And I was like, Uh, and I clearly, like, hesitated. And he was like, Ah, don't worry about it, we won't tell him. <laughs> and that was it, he was just like, Just have fun. And he's like, a buddy was like, Are you gonna be okay? Because it's a little scary. I was like, Yeah, I'll be fine. It didn't scare me at all, I, I, I was fine. But, like, for the next, man... I don't know, two and a half, three hours, I literally just sat there and played Doom, and I was like, this, <laughs> this is the greatest experience of my life, and at the time, uh, that, that may have been true, what else am I doing? You know, hanging out with friends and going to school and stuff like that, so playing a game that I probably, sh well, I don't know, like, this is a whole different discussion, I was going to say playing a game that I probably shouldn't have been playing at that point. But I, I don't know if I should say that. Yeah, it's it's like a gruesome game, but obviously, by today's standards, it's not gruesome at all, really. There's a little bit of stuff going on, but, you know, there's no, like, vulgarity. There's just a little blood and guts. Nothing, uh, nothing terrible by any means. Um, which, I guess, goes to show how far the industry has come as, uh, when it comes to creating mature content. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I, it didn't scare me. I was perfectly fine with it, and I loved it. I just... Obviously, the graphics for the time were amazing. Uh, I had never really seen anything like it. Um, I was just like, I don't I don't understand. Like, I did this already, right? Did I do this? Yeah, I think I did this. Yeah. Um, I didn't understand how games could look like this. I didn't understand what they were doing. I was like, I gotta get a computer so I can play games that look like this. Um... I didn't get... I, I'm trying to remember when I got a computer. I'm playing this and paying attention and not really paying attention. I know I gotta go to the... No, no, no. I gotta go to the red door. Focus. Focus. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a computer, really. A home computer until my uncle got a new one. And then he gave us one of his old ones that had a couple games on it. Didn't have Doom, unfortunately, but it had a couple other games on it. So I didn't really get much computer gaming done until, like, later on, and I was playing things, uh, like, a good amount of time after they had already released. 
uh, or they had, uh, you know, after they released uh, years ago. So I wasn't like the most up to date. I was up to date with uh, with uh, console games, but not computer games. Oh, you could have made that. Uh, but I slowly caught up and made my way through and saw what everybody was playing and just making sure. Um, but this was such a magical experience for me playing uh, a computer game. <clears throat> and little did I know that, you know, this uh, the stuff I was... Oh, dear. The stuff I was reading about Doom, obviously I was super excited about it. But I didn't know it was going to be like, you know... Give me the goddamn shotgun. There we go. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be like a seminal experience. Like a, a, like a, a huge watershed moment in video games at the time. It's just like a game that looked really cool that I was excited to play. Um, but yeah, obviously it's it was tr transformational for the entire industry. Like it's a, give me this. It was a huge moment for the industry, uh, and uh, Doom uh, hit so big and was so popular, and then just kind of like for a while there went away. Um, but then we got Doom Three. Ah. I don't know if I want to leave. Yeah, I'll leave. In the interest of you guys watching, I will leave. Um, I, I, whoops. I, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons now. It's so weird playing a first-person shooter where you're not, uh, <laughs> like aiming, like at, you know, no, no height aiming or up and down. You're just shooting in front of you, and that's it. I don't know what the hell I was saying, but anyway, Doom's important to the game industry. Um. And I was talking about, you know, this being adult, and obviously back in the day, there were parents who were like, Doom is disgusting and violent and it's going to corrupt our children. You know, the same song and dance that other games went through, as well as other forms of entertainment. This music has terrible lyrics that's going to corrupt our children. These TV shows and movies are blah blah blah, the same old thing. So, you know, Doom helped usher in that discussion for better or worse. I mean, I think it's a good idea that we have uh, a rating system. I wish more parents would use it, but that's a discussion for another day. Um, but it's funny that I'm playing Doom and having the <clears throat> having the opportunity to talk about uh, what it was like back in the day for parents being horrified at what they were seeing on screen. Because just the other day, one of my friends, I'm not going to name names, you you don't know them, they're not a podcast member, uh, they got in touch and they uh, they got a Switch, um, I don't know, a, a good amount of time ago, not at launch, but like maybe close to a year, and they've been playing all kinds of stuff with their kid, and their kid is like, oh no you don't, their kid is like uh, hmm, eight, nine, something like that. And uh, they got in touch and they were like, hey, uh, my son just got a game from his grandmother. And I was like, oh, yeah, what is it? And he took a picture and his kid was playing Doom, like Doom 20, what was it, 2016 Doom, now available on the Switch. And I was like, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's a little bit much, isn't it? Well, I was like, you know it's a different type of doom from when we were kids obviously um there's a lot more gore and a lot more uh guts and stuff like that obviously it's not my place to parent his child the kid can play whatever the hell his parents tell him to play and that's their decision not mine i just doom 2016 is a much different doom experience than uh than doom when we were than this doom <laughs> <laughs> Doom 2016 is, I feel, way more violent, like with the, whatever they're called, uh, finishing moves. I know that's not what they're called, but you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, as far as I remember, there, there's plenty of, like, cursing in that game too, right? Um, I think there is. Maybe I'm going crazy, but it's certainly more violent. And I was thinking, I would never have kids, first off, because I, I'm sure I would be a terrible dad. I would let the kid do whatever the hell he wanted, and I wouldn't know how to, <laughs> how to, uh discipline them or anything like that. Kids just aren't for me. Uh, they scare me too. I don't know what to do or say to them. So, uh, but if it, if I had a kid and they were like that age and they're like, can I, oh no, no, no. Oh God. Oh God. It's going bad. We're cool. Everybody's cool. Um, and they were like, can I play doom 2016? I don't know what I would say. Do I let them play? Is it, am I overreacting? Like, uh, I show my, when I was a kid, um, I wanted Night Trap, 
And I've told this on the podcast before. I think if I get this, bad things happen right behind me. <laughs> I remember some stuff. Back off, suckers. Get out of here. Um, I wanted Night Trap, and we literally went to the store. Uh, I was getting it for Sega CD. We went to the store, and we're buying it. My mom, like, took it to the counter, rung it up. That was that. Like, I was getting it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is great. Um, and we walked out of the store, and my mom was like, is this the game that politicians are talking about? And because I was a good boy, I hesitated for a second. But I was like, yeah, yeah, it is, because I knew they were. And she's like, she's like, ah, we can't get this. I can't let you get this. And she took it, took me back to the store. I was like, Mom, please, can we please get it? It's not bad. And she's like, no, we can't do it. I'm, I'm worried about it. It's... And she only knew what she heard, like, on TV or read in the newspapers about the game. And they were, like, greatly blowing it out of proportion, uh, which we can all see nowadays. But at the time, she was trying to be a good mom and didn't think it was appropriate. She hadn't seen much of what the game actually was outside of the screens that were on TV. And the stuff that was printed. Uh, so, you know, you see girls running around in, uh, you know, bikinis or whatever. You know, pajamas, scantily clad, whatever. And, uh, quote-unquote graphic scenes as well. So she took me back, and she's like, you can get anything else you want, um, I just, just not this game. And, you know, I was upset, but I was like, alright, so I got Mario Paint, which, in the long run, much better decision, so, <laughs> thanks, Mom. How do I get in there? Hey, knock it off down there. Um... So yeah, that, it ended up working out in my favor. Obviously, at the time, I didn't know that because all I could think about was, oh, I want to play Doom, or I want to play uh, Night Trap, and I'm not allowed to get it. Um, but you look at... Uh, th this was many years later. That's a story I never forgot, but it was a story my mom forgot. You know, she's a mom. She's doing a million things. That wasn't a standout moment to her in my childhood, but it was for me. So years and years later... I was like, hey, mom, remember when you didn't let me get that game? And she was like, no, I don't remember. So I explained the whole situation. And she's like, oh, yeah. I was like, did you ever really, uh, like, see that game? And she's like, well, I know all the politicians were talking about it at the time. And it was a big deal. So I, I didn't want you to get something that might corrupt you or upset you in some way. And I go, yeah, I'm not mad about it now, obviously. <laughs> like, all these years later, I'm like, god damn it, mom. Why didn't you let me get that game? <laughs> So I was like, do you want to see... Oh, do you want to see what it looks like now? And she's like, yeah. So I showed her, like, I played it on... A, I had a copy on a Sega CD I was playing it for. And she was like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. And I was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, this is so tame. And I was like, by today's standards? Are you, like, saying... Uh, things today are crazier or back then it was tame too and she's like i feel like you could have played this back then it's not that big of a deal and i was like yeah i i think so too but like i said you're just doing your best but uh i don't know if that's the same situation for uh doom 2016 today i don't i don't know that it's comparable uh i need input from you guys like especially if you're a parent um what do you think? Like, if you had a, let's say, an 8 to 10 year old who was like, let's, I want to play Doom, get me Doom. I saw you. <laughs> um, would you let him get it? Is there, to, see, I, I don't know. This is this, a discussion I can have over and over again, because, um, you know, there's, there's got to be different approaches to it, because, take that. Doom has, like, like I said, much more intense, uh, violent content than this Doom, and uh, I don't know, if you're a young kid, it could certainly be scary, there's no doubt about it, um, and I, I, I swear I remember some cursing, but it's, I don't think there's a lot, maybe I'm misremembering and there's not, but I thought there was some moments in there, um, but yeah, I don't know what I would do. I honestly don't know what I would do. I would just feel safe in saying that today's Doom is much different than this Doom as far as like how visceral and how violent and how graphic it is. Uh, but you know, at the time, I guess that's what this Doom was. Visually, it was... Knock it off. It was, uh... 
much improved over what we had seen from other games at the time. So yeah, it may not be quote unquote realistic, but compared to other games, it was certainly, you know, something that would stand out. So who knows, maybe it's more applicable than I uh, originally thought. But I'd like to hear from parents. And that's uh, 15 minutes of rambling from an old man about what games used to be. <laughs> and uh, protecting children and all that stupid stuff. It's a fun conversation to have because, like I said, uh, I'm not going to have kids. I don't want kids. But uh, we have plenty of friends who have kids. And it's uh, dis it's discussions that come up. So uh, let me know what you think. And also let me know if you've ever played Doom. And if you haven't, I want to know if you're going to pick it up on a Switch and give it a shot. Uh... Because I, I, I still think it's a blast. I love it. But, you know, I played it back in the day and I liked it then too. Maybe it's just too outdated nowadays. Uh, is that not the open button? So, let me know what you think. But uh, that's it for today's video. I hope that wasn't too much rambling from an old man, although I'm sure it was. Uh, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. Oh, hello, guys. Uh, thank you to our Patreon gang for supporting me over there. I am so humbled by your support, each and every one of you. I, I honestly can't believe it. Uh, thank you very, very much. It's so super appreciated. If you want to check out the Patreon, there's a link for it in the description. Seriously, it's a dollar. That's it. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. I totally get it. <laughs> I'm sure there's other better things you could spend a dollar on, so I won't be offended in the least. Just thank you for watching this video. But, uh, yeah, thanks to the Patreon gang. Uh, and that's it. For get out of here. That's it for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with the next uh, episode of the Go Nintendo podcast. So we'd love to have you join us. But until then... Have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours.